Welcome back to the channel guys and to another video and in today's video we'll be working on my uh, dynamic balancing machine and I'll be showing you the basic steps in capturing the necessary data required to balance a pump impeller with its shaft so I hope you enjoyed this video guys Alright, so this is the the unit that I must balance. This is the shaft for the impeller. This is the impeller, it's a phosphor bronze impeller. It's quite a quite a heavy big one. And uh, like I said, I'll be taking you through the various stages of balancing. So one of the very first things you do is you get the the weight of of the impeller. And all its rotary bits that goes on your on the shaft, which should be, which would be this lot here. We we'll get the weight of all of that. We we'll get the diameter of, get the diameter of the impeller. The diameter of this wearing this side. The height of the impeller, which is from this end to this end here. And then, of course, the diameter of this wearing here. That's all the things that the, all the little bits of information that I that I gather for the data pack, which I supply to the customers. Also, the material of the shaft. You know, I'll, I'll go through the data pack when the time comes. So um, let's start with the first process of weighing this impeller. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll put the impeller on on the scale. Just to see, get the weight of it. Okay, and, and with that, I'll put in on all the auxiliaries that goes with the shaft. The nut and the washer and the key and things. Okay, so this impeller weighs 25.305 kilograms. So I'll, I'll now save that weight. Okay, so that's 25.3 kilograms. Put it down here, 25.30 kgs. Okay, so this is for the front wearing, which would be this one here. The back wearing is underneath there, which I showed you early on. Then I got the width, which is the height of this thing, and the diameter. So I'll be taking all those, those details now. Back one nine four point four. These two are the same. The width the amp is four hundred. Let's just do this quickly. Actually, it's that day. So that is 98.5 millimeter. Okay, next step is to set up the, set up the machine. This 
This one will just move out a bit. bit more. Okay, I think that will that will be fine. So now I'll just check the horizontal. Okay so I just leveled out the I leveled out the shaft to the machine. That's all set up now. I think the distance between the two, between the two, uh, between the two posts, I think that's okay. Right, so once you actually shifted these, these posts to the desired positions, down here with the spanner, this ratchet spanner, you actually must lock them here so there's no vibration. That you do by using this Allen key, and you lock all that stuff. Also make sure all these things are locked, which they are. So this this doesn't go anywhere. As you put the weight on here of the impeller, um, you might find yourself having to adjust because of the weight of the impeller this side here. But that we'll see as we go along. Right now I'm just going to remove this thing because this is obviously in the way of the impeller because the impeller sits on the sh here on the shaft. So I'm going to just remove that. And the machine is also on. So uh, we're almost there, almost ready. Okay, so it's time for me to input the dimensions and weight into the computer. So uh, I'll start a new, a new page. I'll just stop that. So this is where the new page will come. So I'll just add a new page to this quickly. I'll call this one uh, which I'll call this one what the actual uh, pump is. The pump, um, the pump impeller model. So this is a. So I'll call that what the what the model is. And the next one I'll go. Of course, it's an O-ring. Go to that one, it's an O-ring. And now I'll just fill in the operating speed of the uh, of the impeller when when out in the field. So I'll just fill out all these other information quickly. Alright, so after filling in all this information here, this is like additional information that the the computer needs for the algorithms. Put in 6.3, which is this, the basic uh, Balancing that's needed for the for the algorithm to work out exactly the speed and the amount of mass that must come off. So I'll just enter that. So and then uh, before I before I uh, press the OK, I change this to the balance speed that I was going to balance it at. Now these big impellers are balanced at 500 because uh, they're quite a bit of a, they're quite a mass to to be gaining. You know, so I balance them at 500, which makes it a bit more easy on the machine. Pull that in there. And then I OK it. OK it there. I came back to the home page, so I'll just press on the systems page there. It will bring it to this page here, where you must ensure that you're in the right mode here. And then you go to the arithmetic page there. This is where you put in the density. Now this is captured in the machine already because of all the other impellers that I've done. So the density is 8.9 grams uh, per cubic centimeter. That's for phosphor bronze, which is the impeller. These are just the uh, diameters and stuff of drill bits if you want to use that. And then here you put in the radius of the 
of the object that you visited, which is 200, because if you can recall, the diameter was um, 400. So once you got that there, you just press OK, and that will take you back to the home page, um, and this is where you will start with the balancing process. That the impeller, which is which I put on the shaft and it's on the machine right now, the the computer knows that the impeller works at 1,400 revolutions per minute. So the, the algorithm will work out all the masses to come off and stuff at 1,400. Although I put the balancing speed at, at 500, it makes no difference because the working speed is in the, in the computer. So yeah, let's kick it up and see what, what the computer says. Okay, so I've got the impeller running now. I'm going to just crank this up to the balancing speed that I set the machine to, which is 500. Whilst I turn it, this will obviously speed up here. Okay, so she's on 400 now. And as it's picking up speed, the computer's busy working out the, the mass and the degree that it's, that it's at, that's the unbalanced part of the, of the impeller. Right guys, so that is basically the procedure in capturing the data to balance a pump impeller. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments whether you would like to watch the, the, the rest of the balancing procedure. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next one. Thanks. Cheers. Did anybody out there hear me?